Basic Tools, Part 3. Matt McNaney, Flat Fender RC Crawlers. How are we doing tonight, guys? Let's keep on keeping on here with the talk and discussion about basic tools to have in your toolbox. So, you see what we got out here? Pliers. You are going to need, often, it's going to happen. You're going to need a lot of these things. Needle nose pliers. Standard, good old fashioned, standard lockjaw pliers. This right here, wow. Shock pliers. You need these in your toolbox. This tool right here was life changing for me. Three, three and a half, four millimeter shafts. It holds them without marring up your shock shafts when you're using pliers. Also, this right here pops ball ends out of your rod ends and shocks. Get a set of those. You can find them at any hobby store. Get some. Little wire cutters, little dikes, little baby dikes, or side cutters. I use them just because I have them, so I use them. They're little, they work. You can get them into tight spots. They work really well. Also, a very tiny little set of needle nose pliers. These are actually pliers for making jewelry. I uh, stole these from my wife about eight years ago, and I apologize many times, but I never gave them back because I use these almost every single day. I would take that back. Probably damn near every single day that I am working on my RC stuff. Very, very handy. Little pick set. You need picks for all kinds of reasons. Digging stuff out of holes, digging stuff out of areas, pulling wires, fishing wires through tight spots. Get a cheap pick set, nothing fancy. Harbor Freight, you've heard that many times in my videos so far about tools. It's kind of a common trend here. It works really well for what we're doing. Now, I'm sure there's some mechanics out there, Snap-on, Mac Tools, Matco, whatever. You know, got some die-hard fans for some very fantastic tools out there. We're building tiny trucks. We're not building full-size, full-size, excuse me, vehicles. For what we're doing, you can get away with lower-end tools for some things. Get a cheap pick set, you're gonna use it. Files, get a file set as well. I use these all the time when I am doing my, my flat fender, my Willys builds, my Hasbro Jeeps. I use those files for installing flat fender light kits. So get yourself some very tiny little needle nose, regular set of needle nose, absolutely need some shock pliers, some dikes or side cutters, picks, and file set. That's all I got for you. That is Basic Tools Part 3. Thank you very much.